Hello and welcome to this micro learning session by Nurse and Education Network. This presentation is on Hurtagogy Teaching and Learning. Key learning outcomes are to introduce and provide an overview on Hurtagogy and relate this into healthcare education setting. So the principles here are around self-determined learning. In essence, if we think of it from the education point when we're developing or structuring a training or program, the key are it's learner centered. We want to develop the learner's capability and capacity to learn elements such as problem solving, self-determined, self-directed, motivated, independent, adult learning principles. These are the components we're looking at when we're discussing and approaching the herdagogy aspect. Again, from that educator perspective, it's removing that teacher role, that sage on the stage. It's moving to a facilitator, potentially on an online course, more of a curator aspect from there and keeping the learner at, as the center, and the focus point. And again, this is all in the aim to motivate learners, increase that self-directed, self-determined learning. So if we think of pedagogy in terms of delivering education in healthcare, the question is the SAM pit, is it possible? So in the SAM pit, you can play, develop, there's no rules, there's no structure, boundary. This is, could be quite hard in healthcare. If we think about that, we have content or competency driven education programs requiring specific professional training in both the pre and postgraduate setting. And how do you get learners to follow and understand key principles and key techniques, sometimes specific training requirements when there's no or little structure and also trying to meet the strict time criteria of undergraduate, nurse, medical, allied health training. The other question would, how would it meet the government body requirements for professional qualifications? And these are the things that would have to be considered when developing training or program. And as ever in regards to healthcare, if we're talking about learner focused, but what about patient outcomes and evidence-based practice and how do we align these in herdagogy? Here are the key references from this presentation. Please visit us on Nursing Education Network for more nursing and health education theory and keep an eye out for more presentations.